Farmers are one of, if not the biggest entrepreneurs in the world. Me being the age that I am, I will be a future farmer of America. I'm Zach Tweet, a second year here at the University of Iowa, playing football and studying enterprise leadership. I grew up on our family farm in Story City, Iowa. With more farmers adding cover crops to their game plans, I wanted to better understand how the practice could benefit a farm operation. So Mike, do you really think we need cover crops? Yes, I think uh, cover crops are a good idea. But some of the, uh, the opportunities of cover crops is that it actually keeps the soil in place. Yep. So if you like a rain, it's gonna bust up that raindrop from hitting the ground and keep the dirt from washing away. Another big thing, especially the fall cover crops, uh, fall planted, is that it uh, ties up nitrogen. Sure. and it can tie up, up to uh, 100 pounds of nitrogen in your uh, soil so that if you do have a lot of moisture or when you get into the spring and you have those spring rains that that nitrogen isn't running down in your creek right. and we keep it there for your crop and therefore if we can keep that nitrogen on the actual field we don't have to buy as much for an input Absolutely. which reduces our cost. Reducing cost on nitrogen is appealing for any farmer. Combine that with soil that doesn't wash away and can hold on to moisture and the benefits start to become more clear. The next question that came to my mind was how to choose a cover crop species that makes sense for my farm. If you are, you know, trying what your following crop is and what you want to do with your land. So let's say that you're trying to get more nitrogen into the ground. Yep. So your cover crop, you'd want to have in that mix legumes, could be alfalfa, clover, um, peas, hairy vetch, and they actually pull the nitrogen out of the air and pull it down into the soil. Yep. If you're looking to break up kind of the hard pan from years of tillage, you might want to throw in a radish, which has a tuber, kind of a straight root that goes down deep, and it'll break sure. through that hard pan. Yeah. When it rots out the next spring, it gives it nitrogen back and leaves this big old two inch hole gotcha. down through that hard pan, almost as good as you know running like a ripper through it there. Right. I like the multi-species because it gets more biology going in the soil and helps us reduce our costs there, if you will. So what you plant each year varies depending on what the soil needs. Exactly. Gotcha. It's a big decision to plant a cover crop. Based on Mike's experience, it's clear that investing time and resources in a cover crop has potential to lead to a good return on investment because it can reduce other input costs and improve soil health. 